Hey everybody, I'm Captain Zeus, and welcome to the channel. So I'm going to go ahead and do a movie review for the movie Five Nights at Freddy's. So spoiler warning for those of you that haven't seen it. I know it did just drop on Peacock and in theaters. Now, if you haven't, go check out my trailer review I did if you want to have a little bit of an insight of what my mindset was coming into this. And I also did the Five Nights at Freddy's gameplay. It should be on the channel as well. Go ahead and check that out too if you want to see me get scared. Oh! I'll start off with the cons of the movie that I, I thought. Honestly, it just wasn't that scary. I didn't get scared or jump scared throughout the entirety of the movie. And I'm not even a big horror guy, so I'm easily scared. And I didn't get scared once. And, which I think should have been, in a horror movie, a, a core element. You know, something that sh should keep you on the edge of your seat. Which I didn't feel that. I didn't feel like I should be scared. I didn't feel, like, scared for the characters. I was like... You know what I mean? Like, it just felt very boring in terms of scary. I just didn't get scared, nor did I feel the need to be scared. Now, I also didn't like some of these story elements, uh, you know, with like my keep trying to keep custody of his sister. I thought that was a bit cliche. It's something you see often in movies, especially in like horror type movies, which it's not like it was a bad thing per se it did tie into the overall story pretty well i just personally could have done without it honestly i felt like they did that bit a little bit too long and dragged out at some points and i was just like can, can we just get this over with now the pros of this movie are so first off and when i did the trailer review i thought that this was all cgi and a person in the comment section did let me know that these were animatronics actual ones being done in the movie and man did they look good? I, I was actually surprised. I mean, compared to what my initial reaction was in the trailer, I was like, this looks crap. Granted, I also thought it was CG, but for animatronics, they worked, functioned, and were overall just really cool. I actually enjoyed watching it, except for the whole red eyes thing. I wasn't really a fan of that, to be honest. Now, I also did like the story itself. I thought it was a little bit more unique and fresh from like the take of like the original story, I guess. Like it did bring in the core elements of the OG games and some of the lore in there that we kind of learn later on in the games and like two and three from my understanding. I did kind of like how Mike's tie-in was but at the same time i kind of would have preferred if he was like the son maybe he didn't realize he was the son i don't know maybe he was in an orphanage and this whole situation is like he's learning about his parents or about his dad really and he's like i'm gonna shut down my dad's thing i don't know i think that would have been cooler to be honest it was like son versus father when vanessa said that she was the daughter i was like aren't you like in, in um, security breach, like weren't you in Five Nights at Freddy's security breach? I don't know, maybe she was in a coma and that's how like she gets possessed and becomes bad or whatever. I don't know, I would have preferred if it was just Mike. I'm cool with Vanessa being in it, but I thought it was kind of a cheap comp out to kind of tie things together unnecessarily. I mean, actresses were fine. And that's what goes into my next point. Casting and acting was great. I actually really liked everyone involved. They did a great job, didn't have an issue there. And the movie was short and sweet. It was like an hour 49, if even. So I thoroughly enjoyed that as well. And it's not like it needed to be long, right? I, it, there's movies that are so unnecessarily long. And I did like it. We were kind of to the point with this movie, which kind of should have been the case. Granted, I also think the movie should have been different. You know what I mean? Like I enjoyed watching this. I just don't think that this story could have should have been the first one or at all. Like they could have done it better. Granted, Scott was also like really involved. I was looking at the credits and man, he is all over this. Kudos to him. Happy for him that this movie was made for him and he did write it. So it's not like, you know, it's the creator of the game. I'm not trying to tell him how to do his job or nothing. But, you know, me personally, I would have liked something different. Everyone's got their own taste. Okay, so the end credit like letterings spell come find me is that from springtrap william afton or is that from someone else who was that from and who's it to another thing i really liked was the fact that they used the living tombstones five nights at freddy's song and the outro i thought that was really clever and honestly just really nice as a little throwback and the end credit scene with balloon boy is enjoyable to watch i like the taxi driver Overall, I did, I'm gonna give this like a six, 6.5 out of 10, to be honest. This could have been better. 100% could have been better. I'm not disappointed because I didn't go in with high expectations, but I did expect more. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments how you feel about this movie and uh, if, 
or excited for the second one. I'm Captain Zeus, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya. Thank you.